Hey folks, so I have a revelation to share with you. Apparently the time to seek out random Wi-Fi matches is around midnight. Uh, I guess all the American newbies have gone to sleep because it's their bedtime. Meanwhile, the Japanese players are alive and kicking, and a lot of them have really creative teams and are up for good matches. Uh, I was, you know, up with Insomnia and had three or four matches against Japanese opponents with really creative teams, so it was kind of awesome. Um... Anyway, uh, this is my Dylan team uh, with one big modification. I have taken out Jirachi and replaced uh, it with Roserade. Um, my male Roserade named El Kabong, who uh, you might have seen on my selection screen uh, in my first uh, Sam uh, match, uh, but I never actually got a chance to use on this channel before. Anyway. Um, it serves the same purpose as Jirachi. It takes out one of its uh, one of the opponents on the first turn. Um, in this case, with Sleep Powder, allowing um, Rosa, uh, allowing um, Masquerade to set up a Rain Dance. Um, rain, I figured, was especially important here because there's a Cherim, and Cherims like the sun. Um, but I figured uh, I didn't know who was faster, Cherim or Masquerade. I figured I don't want to be just setting up rain if he's going to set up sun, so I'm going to take him out first. Um, so he protected on the first turn. On the second turn, I do a huge amount of damage, but not enough to KO, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, I really shouldn't have used uh, I really shouldn't have used toxic spikes, but I figured that um, a lot of my guys were bulky and he might try to stall me out. Um, so I figured it might be a good idea. But um, yeah, so this Churim is protecting a lot. Um, because it knows that I want to take it out. Um, Trim is also a really good Pokemon to want to take out on a doubles team because of its ability, Flower Gift, which boosts not only its stats, but its opponent, uh, its uh, ally stats in, um, when there's sunlight. Anyway, um, I decide that uh, I'm, since I figure it might protect, um, I am going to split my losses and I use Leaf Storm against. Um, uh, Frostlass, which doesn't KO it as well. He's got these guys are pretty bulky. I'm impressed. Anyway, I finally do decide to set up the rain, um, and I decide to uh, take down Churim this turn uh, before it can set up Sun again, and um, just keep using Leaf Storm. Um, although I doubt Roserade will survive, uh, and indeed Frostlass uses Blizzard, um, which finishes off Roserade, um, who was hanging on only by a Focus Sash. Um, Roserade goes down, um, but it did a really great job this match. It took out um, Porygon Z with Sleep, so that's pretty awesome. Masquerade avoids the attack, really lucky, um, but I think Blizzard's accuracy is severely lowered in, in this weather anyway, so it's not like it's hacks. Masquerade uses Bug Buzz, finally takes out Cherim, uh, so the rain is going to stay, uh, which is nice. The, uh, Cherim teeters, and it's down. Yay! Um, rain continues to fall. Um, and so I send out Tauros because I'm determined to show you guys that my Tauros is indeed useful. Um, he sends out his sleeping Porygon Z again, which um, I guess he's going to try to wake him up. Um, so let's see, Intimidate's not going to be very useful because none of these guys are, uh, are attackers potentially. Um, Masquerade is going to Shadow Ball against uh, Frostlass to take it out, and Tauros is going to hit both opponents with Rock Slide. This turned out to be a mistake because um, Frostlass uses Destiny Bond, something that I wasn't expecting, um, and Tauros I didn't expect to be faster. Um, so Rock Slide hits first, and while it does a huge, huge amount of damage, look how powerful my Tauros is. It takes out Tauros in one hit. Um, because of Destiny Bond. Uh, and then I've got Shadow Ball targeting uh, the only Pokemon that remains, who's a normal type, so that was a wasted turn on my part. Had I used either of my other attacks, I could have gotten a double KO uh, this turn. So that was a mistake on my part. Oh well. Um, I really like that my Japanese opponent, um, well, I guess you're about to see his last Pokemon is Cacturn, so he's using um, UU and NU. Uh, and he's using a pretty creative team instead of just lots and lots of Ubers, which is really nice. Anyway, Blastoise goes out, and even though I know he's going to get targeted and then some attacks, I decide that I'm going to make use of the rain, 
and uh, and the stab and use water spout. Porygon C stays asleep, so that's a bit of hacks for me. Um, anyway, I do a whole lot of damage to Cacturn. Um, it's a one-hit KO, except for the Focus Sash. Cacturn uses Seed Bomb against uh, Blastoise, as I suspect, but as I expected. But uh, Blastoise survives with his bulk and uses Water Spout. Now, in the annotations, I will tell you whether it made sense to use Water Spout over um, Blizzard at uh, Blastoise's health and everything. Um, I think if I run the calculations, it actually did make sense and it was the right call. Um, anyway, uh, one, only one Pokemon left. Um, I decided to go with Water Spout again, but it, um, in case Porygon Z takes it out. But uh, luckily, I'm lucky, and um, Porygon Z does not wake up, and I take it out with Bug Buzz, and I don't have to use Water Spout. Anyway, the match is over. I've taken down his entire team, and uh, I am victorious. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed that match. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and battle at midnight. So long.